So some of the things that can go wrong with PowerPoint templates and errors that I see frequently are the brand color palette not being added to the template properly. What ends up happening is that the colors are put on the slide level and not in the template level in the back end. Also, fonts aren't always put in properly. Again, they might be applied at the slide level, but not applied properly in the back end. And this can cause issues because although you might not notice it on the slide level, when you go to insert a text box, the text box will be a different font. That'll be the default font, which currently now is Microsoft Aptos. So then you've got two different fonts throughout your presentation, which is not ideal. One of the things is uh, pictures. If you have pictures within your template, they can be very, very large. And if that's in the template, sometimes the templates can then be so big that you can't even send them around before you've started creating slides. So that's a big issue. So any images that are in the template need to be compressed so that they are small and to make that file size small enough to work with and have it emailable or when we're actually having a presentation, you know, working on a presentation that we want to email around. Another issue I would see is that the variants in PowerPoint haven't been stripped. I probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But basically, in PowerPoint, when we are creating a template, we need to remove the variants. The variants you'll find on the design tab. And what they will do, they'll, they'll force a certain color palette upon our slides if we go to change, say, from a light dark background to a dark background. If these aren't removed, when we make some changes, so for example, if we choose a dark background variant, all of our branding disappears. So we have no color palette. We have our, our logos can go as well and our, our branding, our fonts. And also another time that this can go is if we change the slide size. If we change from a wide screen slide size to a standard slide size, we lose our color palette. So it's really important that those variants are stripped. And that is the first thing you would do when creating a PowerPoint template.